An ambassador is a highest ranking person who represents his or her government while living in another country. All countries of the world, they have representatives of all other countries or almost all other countries in the world. For instance, in Nigeria, you are the U.S. Embassy. You have almost, if not all the countries being represented in Nigeria, in the capital city. And these persons, they are high-ranking persons, which can be females or males. They have to be high-ranking because Anything they say represents everything about their home government and their country. So they are not they are not tops picked from the streets. They are people with high reputation, people who have been trained so that when they talk, they will be able to present their country very well. There is something I've come to understand that the message of the kingdom is having less impact today because many of us who are preachers and Christians, we do not value the vessel of the carrier of the message, but we give so much attention to the message itself. No matter how much important the message is, if the carrier of the message face to represent the message he is carrying, there will be misunderstanding. If a president of a country wants to pass a message out, he will not send a madman. And in this kingdom, God will pick people and wash them before he will send them messages. And he will always say, who can I send? Who will go for me? Who is going to represent me? And somebody like Isaiah would say, Lord, here am I, send me. And then there is another process. After saying, here am I, send me, God will now open his nation of holiness and say, look, oh, me that is sending you, this is my nation. Look at my angels. They have six wings. They have to fly with just two. They have to cover their faces because of my righteousness and holy nation with, with shamefacedness. And then they have to also cover their feet because they are not perfect. And then when Isaiah will see these things, he will say, oh Lord God, look at how wretched and how poor I am. Lord, Peter said, Lord, depart from me for I am a sinful man. Whenever God calls, he will bring out his nation first and also bring out your nation. So that you can bridge the gap through his grace. And this is what happens to every one of us sitting down here. If at all, all of us have encountered Jesus Christ on a personal basis. And then after then, God will now spell out his terms. What we call the Ten Commandments today, the main thing, the commonest name for them are the terms of agreement. The Old Testament you have terms of agreement. What are the terms? I am going to be your God and I want to be your God. I want you to be my children. I have picked you, Abraham, and the whole of your children. And you must represent me in this world as my ambassador. And through you, I will reconcile the whole world back to myself. In thy seed shall all nations of the world be what? Be blessed. And then God said, for this relationship to be established and for it to hold and for it to last forever, this is what you need to do. The Bible I am holding now is in two parts. It is made up of the Old Testament and the what? New Testament. It is a testament, it's an agreement. It's a covenant. So all of us here, we have been called to represent Christ. What are the duties of an ambassador? Ambassador does the work of representation. 
he does not represent his own interest, but he represents the interest of who? The interest of his government. Remember, ambassador does not serve in his own country. He is, that one is not an ambassador. We as Christians, we have a home. This is not our home. The earth is not our home. We are just passing through in a moving tent. What is a moving tent? It's a flesh. In a moving tent, we are just passing through. And we have a home that we will go and our Savior will tell us, well done, good and faithful servant. All the other way around, which we don't pray for, depart from me, you workers of what? Of iniquity. 